the end of the winter kingdom is sometimes giving rise to warm days that surpass even spring. Only the leaves and flowers of the trees are missing. Lulebra has been putting out his white hat for some time. In our small yard, mother and grandmother are enjoying a piece of occasional pleasure. They are sitting on a long wooden chair, doing handicrafts. Grandma is making a pair of woolen socks with flowers, while mother is making a waistcoat, as she always wears a gold waistcoat and laughs. I sit in front of them. Behind us an apple tree with raised branches. Their words are sweet and the answers to my questions, so that little by little they radiate goodness in me. Sometimes it seems to me that the apple tree is blooming. It begins to be dressed with leaves and flowers, because their words magnify everything. The envious rays of the sun stop for a while, mixing in the lively conversation of the mother and grandmother. I lightly pressed my eyes with my small fists to see better. It seems my mother dictated something to me. He left the laborer so well protected and much smaller than it was. Feeling a little suspended with my gaze. This apple tree that is now blooming near you is a flower for you. I want and wish you a happy Mother's Day. They turned their heads immediately, raised their shoulders in surprise, and in my blue eyes they read the source of my words.